friends, welcome to the wonderful world of Chinese characters. I am Anxious. Last time in a program, I told you about a pair of characters, heaven and earth, or Tian and Di. Today, I'm going to tell you about another pair, to live and to die, which respectively are Sheng and Si. Let's start with Sheng, shall we? S H E N G, first tone, Sheng. Sheng is a good example of a Chinese character that has many meanings aside from to live. As a noun, it also means life. As a verb, it means to give birth. As an adjective, it means raw or unfamiliar, and so on and so forth. But all these meanings are related to some extent, and context is very important in determining which of these meanings it carries. So it is seldom ambiguous. In any case, the original meaning of sheng refers to the growing of a plant. Let's look at the jiagowen. Yes, that looks much like a plant growing, like a small tree or shrubbery. Then here's the jin style. As you can see, a dot was added. Then for zhuan style, the dot became a line. Then here's the Li style and modern Kai style. Okay, and now on to the opposite, si, S-I, third tone, si, which as a verb means to die, as a noun means death, as an adjective, it also means rigid. Okay, let's look at the ancient forms of this character. Here's the Jiagowen. This part on the left is the early version of the character Dai, which originally means skeleton, which is what it means right here as well. And on the right is a person knelt over crying. Quite a graphic way to portray death, no? Here's the Jin style. Zhuan style, then for the Li style, the person knelt over became simplified to look like this, and the character stayed that way for modern Kai style. Well, that's all for today. Once again, today we learned Sheng and Si, which mean to live and to die, or life and death if you prefer. Okay, see you next time. Thanks for watching the wonderful world of Chinese characters.